Hi, this is Maggie Woodward, and today I am discussing what was learned in Module 2 about applications. Um, first of all, there's a few different types of applications. Um, one of those is free applications such as Facebook, iTunes, and many other games you can get on your phones or laptops or desktops too. Um, another type is commercial applications such as Photoshop or Microsoft Office, and those have to be purchased. Um, and the third type is open source applications, which means that it can continually be changed or modified. Um, we also learned about browsers. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Chrome, Google Chrome, and that can be used on a Mac or a PC. Um, one positive of using Chrome compared to other browsers is that it, it has the navigational toolbar, toolbar for web searches, which is definitely handy and um, also you can easily save PDF files using Chrome. Um, another type of browser is Firefox which which can also be used on Mac or PC and it's very similar to Internet Explorer and Safari. And Safari is another type of browser and it comes pre-installed on all Mac products. Um, Installing applications can either be done on a desktop or a mobile device. On a desktop, you can install using a CD in the disk drive or you can download it from the internet. Um, on Windows computers, you install an .exe file and on Mac com computers, you install a .dmg file. Um, on mobile devices, you retrieve the app from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Um, we also learned about versions and version numbers. Um, the version identifies the specific state of an app or and it classifies the progression of changes. Um, with a version, there is a version number and the, it's three numbers. The first number is the major number, and when that changes, it shows that um, there was a major change, which changes the functionality overall. Um, a minor change is, well, the minor number is a minor change, and a minor change doesn't affect the, um, the app as much as the major changes. And then the final number, if that changes, it is a revision, which indicates that a minor bug or fixes were altered. Um, we learned about a few different programs. One of these is Audacity. And Audacity is an open source audio recording software. And it exports into various formats, including MP3. I have used Audacity when I worked at the radio station in Belleville and we used it for ads um, we recorded local news and two times a day the sports guy recorded his sports report using audacity and then they exported it into the main um, radio station system we also learned about PDFs which are portable document format files they were created by Adobe for Adobe Reader um, they can be used in different applications, and the content doesn't change when saved or opened by others. So it is like a universal way of ensuring that all the information will stay the same. Um, I have limited experience with PDF files, but I did use it some with transcripts. So um, we covered a lot in Module 2, and... I learned a lot, so there we go.